training the city's next generation for a new career. The game has changed with barbering. I'm AJ Douglas in the Bainbridge neighborhood where there's a new opportunity to train to become a master barber. I talked to one educator here who says this course will give people here hope. People are picking up the wrong kind of tools to express themselves. They don't see a way out. They don't have any hope. But if I can get them to pick up a different kind of tool, then it's going to be better for the community. It's a place where men go to discuss the good, the bad, and, you know, talk a little trash all while getting a haircut. Really with my Dr. Joe Sweet is an educator for Decatur County Schools. He's been teaching for the past 19 years. He says he can't shake the joy of working behind the chair as a master barber. My passion for cutting hair, it never dwindled. Beginning August 13th, Southern Regional Technical College will be adding barbering to its existing dual enrollment program offered to high school students. The training requires 1,500 hours for 18 months, so students can apply to get their license to become a master barber. Instead of them just cutting their friend's hair in their backyard without their license, they can now actually start their li the licensing process early. High school coordinator for Southern Regional Technical College, Alonzetta Simpkins, says it's the way young people can turn a hobby into a career. Dr. Sweet echoes that sentiment by adding how learning a trade can still be a pathway to success. Everybody is not going to go to college. I get it. But if you don't go to college, you still have a way to spread your wings. Students are required to have at least a 2.0 for an occupational course like this one. There is rolling registration this month. In Bainbridge, I'm AJ Douglas for ABC 27.